Hello and welcome to my review of the Doctor Who short trip for Jago and Lightfoot Revival. Yes, I'll be reviewing both parts, Act 1 and Act 2 in this video. Um, now this release is rather difficult to review as this story features some pretty jaw-dropping things and personally I like to keep my reviews generally spoiler free and I will try and keep the spoilers down to a bare minimum because this is a release you do not want to be spoiled. Now, 2017 is a special, or should I say, monumental year for Jago and Lightfoot as it marks their 40th anniversary. Now, obviously, that was bound to happen, but I don't think we would be celebrating it without the help of Big Finish because they have given us this lovely spin-off and given us this series, what we all adore and I just love. And we're on series 13 right now, which is kind of shocking. Just let that sink in. They're on series 13. So they've done 13 series, and not to mention all the other extra stories that they've done, like the 4th Doctor Adventures and the little bonus story in the uh, world of Doctor Who. So they've done quite a fair bit, and I do believe um, Series 13 is meant to be a homage uh, to the talent of Weng Chiang. Plus, good old Big Finish have provided us with this little extra treat, which is the short trip, combining the new series and the classic series with Jago and Lightfoot, meeting the 10th Doctor, which I just love. Now, before I go on to the cover, um, you might be wondering, what are these short trips? Well, they're essentially an audiobook, which might sound a bit boring depending who's reading it. Um, but Katie Manning or Sarah Sutton, um, you get an impersonation of the characters from their era. And I'll, I'll put two little annotations on the screen of my review of the toy and the time tunnel. So if you want to check out another couple of short trip reviews that I've done, then there they are on the screen. Um, but with this, you're getting Christopher Benjamin, um, obviously voicing Henry Gordon Jago, and Trevor Baxter voicing Lightfoot, and we have a small appearance of Lisa Bowman playing Ellie. So you're basically getting quite a bit more bang for your buck, and the short trips generally last around 35 to 40 minutes, so yeah, you're getting quite a lot with this one for 2 dollars Now, the cover art is basically rather simple, but I generally quite like it. Um, but the main fact with this cover is it, they're the same, just the uh, colour changes from red to blue, with Act 1 being red and Act 2 being blue. So we've got Jago, we've got Lightfoot, we've got the new series TARDIS, and the 10th Doctor there, sort of in this nice um, starry background, which does change from red to blue. Then we've got the uh, short trip banner there. Now, I am going to give you a bit of a warning um, uh, with this. If um, When you download this from Big Finish, it will have this bonus um, content thing and it will have alternative cover for Act 2. Um, if you haven't listened to Act 1 and you click on the bonus content and you check out what the alternative cover is, then you just potentially ruin the whole thing for you because that is a massive spoiler. So if you want to know what the alternative cover is, listen to Act 1 first and then you can know what that alternative cover is because uh, if you haven't listened to it and you click on the alternative cover then you just sort of ruin the whole fun of the story. The story. Right from the bat the story is fantastic. Now if you haven't experienced any of the Jago and Life audios then this might be a great place for you to start as Life gives a brief explanation of the two character shenanigans. But for avid fans of Jago and Lightfoot, there is still plenty to enjoy within this story, as there are nice little references for Series 9 and to the Scorchies. Now, the structure of the story very much reminds me of the Mahogany Murderers, the first Jago and Lightfoot story they did, um, in terms of Big Finish, um, with it having two stories that link together, link together at the end, which leads to a clever way of telling the story. Act 1 is a solid bit of storytelling by Jonathan Barnes as we get this nice bit of scale with Jago in London and Lightfoot on the island of Minos, giving us great variety in scenes, making for a great contrast of setting with Jago being full, uh, in, you know, smog-filled London and Lightfoot being in this quite exotic location in the island of Minos. But what I love about this story is the twists and turns it makes, especially with the monsters. One minute you think it was, you know, it's the sea devils, then the next you think it's the spiders from Metabolus 3. So the story constantly has you guessing, and the story foreshadows the theme of luck. Um, but the two standout moments for me is Jago and Lightfoot meeting the 10th Doctor, and um, with Lightfoot to getting this really touching speech, along with this excellent build-up to the Doctor, will just melt your heart. And my number one standout for this uh, part of the story is the cliffhanger. Oh boy, this story, like I said, sends you on a wild goose chase and then boom, you get this jaw-dropping moment 
and then you realize you have to wait for a week for part two to be released but obviously now it's been released in full so you can enjoy that and don't have to have that agonizing wait like I did. Now Big Finish could have easily given away this surprise and would have sort of ruined it but bravo to Big Finish for keeping this sort of cliffhanger surprise. Um, so overall I'm going to give Act 1 a 10 out of 10. Some superb moments, I just love the performances without and I'll talk about those performances once I've talked about Act 2. Act 2, this is where the part of the story becomes rather difficult to review as this is where spoilers lie so I will do my best not to spoil it. The story continues straight from where Act 1 left off, and you know I said earlier that the story keeps twisting and turning, well this part continues to do so, flipping everything you know about the story upside down which causes a great reveal and some nice bittersweet character moments, but the general feel of the part is a runaround which can become a bit tedious in places, but it still is a fine bit of storytelling, with it raising a question, will Jago and Lightfoot's paths cross with the new series Doctors again? Now on to characters and performances. Now Jonathan Barnes has done a marvellous job capturing all the characters within this story with all their quirky mannerisms and the story really does show the differences between Jago and Lightfoot. Now they have some fantastic character interactions between them and we have Jago butting in um, trying to make Lightfoot's side of the story more dramatic and speaking of Jago Henry Gordon Jago, played by Christopher Benjamin. Everybody loves Jago. With this story, we see his showman side with him correcting the title, but we do get a touch of his bumblingness and great character expansion between him and Ellie, with him doing a very nice impersonation of her. We even get Jago trying to make us, the audience, pay his bill at the Red Tavern. But I do love Jago describing the TARDIS. Now, Christopher Benjamin brings this troubled showman to life with ease. Mix that with Jonathan Barnes' superb writing you're on to a winner. Trevor Baxter, George Lightfoot. Trevor Baxter continues to bring such warmth to the character of him being calm and collective but does get a bit wary of Jago butting in. And this, this story gives him a bit more expansion with us exploring his younger life with us meeting a character from his past. The Tenth Doctor played by Trevor Baxter. Now I wouldn't call this an impersonation or an impression. What Trevor Baxter does is capture the essence of the Tenth Doctor which works really well in the format of the story. A nice touch is where this fits into the timeline which causes some real touching moments. Now Jonathan Barnes, like Jago and Lightfoot, captures the Doctor wonderfully, with him not offering any second chances, clicking the TARDIS doors and seeing the beauty in the monsters and the sheer delight when he sees the Infernal Investigators. So to conclude, I think that this is a marvellous tale. For £5.98, you cannot complain, with Jago and Lightfoot finally encountering a 21st century Doctor. This story could feel like a half-baked cake with it missing David Tennant in, and hopefully in the future we can see a full cast story featuring these characters. But for now, well done to Big Finish for making the most of the New Who license. Full of surprises, great descriptive language, helping you easily picture this adventure. This is one story you do not want to miss. And if you want to check out what Jake and Lightfoot are like and you want to see what they're like on audio, then definitely check this one out. As I, w as I said before, this is a great introduction to these infernal investigators. So overall, what would I give? Jago and Lightfoot The Revival. Well, I'm going to give it 9 corks out of 10, a superb release. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review, and I'll see you on my next video, whatever that'll be, maybe Big Finish, or it might be a product review. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So thank you very much, and goodbye.